Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. It's me, Nick, back in the chair. We've got some time available, so let's have a look at Ristar, or Ristar, which uh, was on the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, published by Sega in 2009 on the PlayStation 3. But this original game came out in 1995, so it was a bit late in the Sega Mega Drive's run. I think maybe that's why it wasn't as well known or as popular as it might have been. There was no sequels because essentially they ran out of time. Evolution was going on in the background. It's a platformer, a side-scroller, graphically a little bit like Sonic, but plays um, quite a bit different. You control a star, and instead of jumping on people like Mario, you have stretchable arms which can go in eight different directions to grab your enemies, knock them out, and get to different stages, and you must, um, or different levels, and you must uh, complete each stage. Now, the stages are based around six planets, which I can't guarantee we'll get to, each planet consisting of two levels each. At the end of the first level, there's a mini boss to defeat, and then the second level, there's a major boss to defeat. You have health, which is four stars, which we'll come to, but he looks like pretty cool there, doesn't he? He's rocky. Here we go. Let's see how far we can do. I think there's an easy mode on this, but we'll keep it on normal. So it's jump, grab, um, well, just jump and grab, really, essentially. There's a password system, so if you play again, you don't have to go right from the start. You unlock other levels. You can type in the code, and you're there. This is probably the... Well, the first time I've played this. So we start Planet Flora. Good music, as you see. Definitely a Sega game. Right, let's experiment here. So I grabbed him and killed him. The stars on the top right represent my health. They go down to zero. We've had it. You can collect chests. Well, crack open chests for extra stars, I believe. So interesting control system. This rather unique. It's pretty much, what would you say, Sonic the Hedgehog meets Cool Spot, maybe. But animation on this is brilliant. Moves quickly. I don't know the best way to do this, but hopefully we'll get off stage one. You never know, do you, when I'm playing? Oops, rabbit there. Good. We're down to three stars already. What's this? A big bush. Did you have this game? I'm not sure how successful it was. I think that's a climbing frame there. Going backwards, let me know. Is that a ledge? We can just go right across here. No sweat. It might have been re-released on other systems. I'm not 100% sure about that. There we go, a bit of grabbing there. I'm not sure I've done that correct. Good. So it's getting used to the jumping and grabbing at the same time, to be honest with you. And avoiding all the enemy. Why I say it's a bit like Cool Spot is he's his gloves and his shoes, really. Instead of a spot, it's a star. No timer ticking up or down, so that's quite generous. Just get to the end. Right, climb over these terrible bushes. So I, I'm quite liking this already. Although it's, it's unusual control system, takes a while to get used to it, but it, it's unique in its own way. Oops, Demon Rabbit. There is a story behind this, but um, basically it's pretty irrelevant. Just complete the level. Some sort of enemies do up to no good. What's that, fire? Right, oh, down. Handy blue arrows are trying every now and again, letting you know where to go, so you won't get stuck. Oh, little odd chicken thing. I've only got one star left. This is looking bad. Can I grab... Oh, dear. I was going to say, can I grab that? But I can't. That's very cool spotish as well, the way he dies. Dud, da, 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 da. After your normal goes over, there are a few continues you can have, so it works a little bit like an arcade game. It's quite generous. I'm not sure how too many people would have had this game. If you say what's your favourite game on the Sega Mega Drive, I don't think many people would say Ristar or Ristar. How is it pronounced? Ristar or Ristar? Hmm. Or Wristwatch, maybe. Star, he's in flame. Is it just a guy wearing a mask, this, or is it an actual star? Weird sort of creature here. A cute game, a cute game. I do like these games that have their own feel to them. On the Amiga, there's James Bond Robocon, which has its own feel. Right, now this is a swing thing. We have to use that swing thing, that's a technical term for it, to get onto this ledge, and there's a diamond over there to collect as well. Right, so, let's get my arms up. Swing! Whoops, that wasn't right. It's a timing thing, so when I get the right elevation, I can do jump and hopefully get up there. Looks a bit like asparagus, those things in the background, those plants waving up and down. They're disco dancing to the music, 
right. No! <laughs> That's not how you do it. Ugh. There's probably a lot of secret things I'm missing here. Secret portals and stuff. Let me know. If you had this game back in the day, you probably know lots of extra bits and extra parts of the screen to get to, which I don't. No. Ugh. Right, is it time for a sometime later here as I muck about on this? Yes! Boom! Pick up this thing. What's that going to do? Points or stars? Got it. Points it was. Blue arrow, go down. Must be near the end of the level now. I've only got one star left again though, unfortunately. Right, we're already down on the right level. No need for that. What's this? Right, okay, so this is a mini end of level boss. I think we have to grab him and bash into him a few times, but not get hit by him. He's a crazy worm creature. This is gonna this is gonna tax me. Looks like we can maybe go up and down on a grid here. Oh god, how do we hit him? How do we hit this chap? This could be a bit painful. Or do we just have to survive for a while? I can't see an energy bar for him. Let's go up, up and away. Seems like he's disappeared for a while. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hmm. Maybe we can get above and below and just crash into him. So get this chest. Should be an extra bit of energy. Yes, there we go. It's up to two stars. That's helpful. There's bound to be a strategy here involved in this, which I don't know. No, you can't drop onto him. That's bad. So down to one star again. Oh, I need to grab him. How can a small star grab a massive big serpent worm demon thing from hell? Let's get off level one. Maybe. I've only got one star to do it. 2,400 points. Is that a good high score? Let's say it is. It's a brilliant high score. We try and... There he is. Grab him. No, he's gone again. Worst pet ever. This serpent is certainly something you couldn't pick up from the uh, pet shop as he kills me again. Take that back. Two lives left. So be victorious. I need Sonic here as well. You could imagine just Sonic turning up in this game, couldn't you? If you replace the star with Sonic, it could look like a Sonic level. Moves slower than Sonic, but a uh, lot of stuff does. Probably prefer Sonic the Hedgehog to this one. But I do like this one as well. Right, that's one here. I've got him. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Grab the worm. Smash the worm. Oh! Oh no, this is going bad. Oh dear, that's not how you do it either. It's looking very much like, folks, I'm not going to get past level one. Do you know a cheat for this? Let me know below. If you know a cheat, let me know. Probably up, down, left, right, jump, forward, back, forward, back, and then you've done it. There must be a way of getting up onto that ledge up there. What about these red flowers? Can you utilise them at all? Hmm. Not letting me grab them, so I presume not. Other characters with stretchy arms are Mr. Tickle. Well, I'm not sure Mr. Tickle from the Mr. Men has been made into a game. There might be a Mr. Men game on the Zedic Spectrum, actually. I won't be surprised, either official or unofficial. Mr. Men Olympics, that seems to ring a bell. Right, can we do it this time? The feeling is no. But let's not be defeated, let's just say yes. Let's kick this person's head in. Uh, peace to everyone. Uh, only because it's an evil serpent. Probably, probably not paying any rent for this place. And we've got to evict him. If we can lure him up here, perhaps, I don't think we can. He just goes through those holes below. The main, the main uh, pr aim of this game is learning the controls so you can execute stuff really quickly. I'm slowly getting the hang of it, I think, as we go through this bamboo stuff. Curses! Oh, come on! Right, we've already getting splatted there. Well, I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet on myself to do this. If you've completed it, then of course let me know. Oh, look, I've got a hit there. I, right, I've, okay, so I attacked him there. I don't know how many times I've got to hit this fellow. 
Oh, he's back three times, I think. Oh. Yes, yes! He's doomed and the, the entrance is open. Good, I knew we'd do it. Didn't, didn't I say we'd do it all the way along? It was <laughs> it was never in doubt. We've done it. That worm's, that worm's dog food now. Surely this is the end of the stage now. Come on. All right, another swing. Woof. That's it. Hooray. We've done it. Great. My gameplay is, yeah, anyway. Next area is the dark woods. The dark woods. They're woods and they're dark, I'm guessing. Hopefully not as dark as Vector Man 2. Doesn't look that dark, does it? Perhaps it'll get darker later on. Is the music the same? It might be ever so slightly different. So a major tick there. Hmm, or is it the same? I don't know. Did did dear. Um, can we just bash that thing? No. Right, one star left. The worst kind of hotel. One stars. Lizard. Oh, right. I think we need to um, coax that lizard out, go back and splat him. Last life left. I don't think we'll do any continue, so this will be it. It's all or nothing. Or somewhere in between. What is that thing? And we've knocked it out of its nest. We crashed into it last time and lost energy. No, that's... No, don't do it like that. Last life. It's all got to happen now. Up we go. Coax that thing out. Yep, good. That's it. Headbutt the lizard. Probably evil. Was a chest up there? Can we get up there? Oh, there must be a clever way of getting up there. Let me know about it. Oh, we have to go... Yeah, we have to go up that tree if you want it. That's how you do it. Well, we might not have time to do that. Will we? It is an extra star, Nick. No, I can't get up through there. I was hoping there'd be some sort of tube. It looks like it could be a tube going through, but it isn't. You just head by it. There's another thing rocking in a... Oh, man. Oh, wow. I didn't know he was going to drop down there, but he's dead now. Right, he's a bit tree. Can't go back up there. Right, it's just up. Could get that star. Oh, no, let's not bother. <laughs> there's something evil in the way. No, I was going to get a cheap star, but not there's something evil in the way. Always best just to turn around and run. Oh, what's happening here? Hooray! Oh, I love that. That was excellent. Oh, I do love those sort of bits. Right, a couple of guys to grab here. One, two, three... Oh, I love that bridge bit. That was cool. This game just gets better and better. I'm sure the other levels have got other new bits too. Really cute game. Really cute game. Nice. Glad it's on the collection. More or lesser known than some of the big titles on here, such as Sonic, Golden Axe and um, Streets of Rage. But there's a few, few other good ones too. As can be seen here. The Sega Mega Drive certainly can do these platform games, couldn't it? Fantastic stuff. Da -da 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 -da. Of course, if you hate the game and had it back in the day, let me know as well. I like I like different opinions, really. Different views are good. Without any arguments, and that just shows, uh, well, a superior brain, doesn't it? If you can take in other views and stuff. Without effing and blinding it. Things, which I see on a lot of forums. Sometimes the retro gaming world can get pretty toxic in forums and that's probably why I, I don't use them that much. Just drop in every now and again, most of them okay, but you do get some really heated arguments and uh, that's not what it's about for me. It's about celebrating memories, comparing games and having a lot of fun and easing stress. Did it, did it, did dear. Could I be near the end of this? I've got two stars left. Oh, another swingy thing. Right, time for a bit of fun here. One. No. Hmm, where are we going here? It looks like there's something in the way. Yep, that's through, we're through. Oh, Dark Woods, it's now gone. It's now gone very dark. Oh, yeah, it's gone very Vector Man 2. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look at the review Vector Man 2, which is very dark. This has gone very dark. Maybe I should up the contrast on my TV to cheat. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to see stuff now. Duh, duh, duh. Right, let's leave him behind. Dark woods. 
apart from these, these bright things on that tree help. Oh, something killed me. I think it was a lizard thing. And that's my last life. Well, time, time went really, really quick there. I've been playing this about 15 minutes. Good. We won't do any continues because I think we've seen enough of that game. Excellent. I really enjoyed that. Good graphics, good sound, a good one in the Sega uh, stable. So thanks for watching that one as always. That was Ristar. Ristar is published by Sega originally in 1995, but the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, which I'm playing this on the PlayStation 3, was 2009. Thanks for watching that again. Have you got any comments about the game, any others in the collection, then please put your thoughts below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond. Goodbye. Goodbye.